Hi folks and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is a traffic light buzzer. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H260 barbless hook. It's on a heavy wire and it's finished in black nickel. The thread I'm going to be using today is the classic wax thread from Simplify. It's at 6 aught and I've already added some of my own wax. I'm going to catch in just behind the eye and get approximately five milli thread down. Now I'm going to leave the tag end, that's going to help me. And I'm going to add my ribbon at this point to reduce the bulk in the body. So what I'm using is some silver wire. It's uh, 0 0.1 millimeters. And I've already got a little bit off here that I've been working with. So sometimes if you want a nice slim body, if you tie in as you go, it just helps with that profile. Try and keep your uh, turns touching, and that's where your little tag end can come in handy. Use that to bring your thread all the way back to approximately where a barb would be on a barbed hook, and then you can remove your waist. Next then we're going to add some mirror tinsel. This is at 0.4 millimeters, and I've already got a little bit cut off here, ready to go on. Now, I only want to catch it on with two turns, and because on top of that is going to go some mirror tinsel in red, and this is 0.8 millimeters. Now, the reason that I want two different thicknesses is I want some of the red mirror tinsel to come through under the uh, the holographic. So I'll just catch them both in. Now at this point you can decide whether you want to have a large thorax or a small thorax. Uh, I'm going to come back and just have another two layers of thread on my thorax just not happy with that lies if ever you find you've got yourself into a position that you're not happy it always pays to uh, come back and redo it so first of all I'm going to bring my red rib over and you'll notice that I'm keeping some black just in between the rib now hopefully I'll get three turns all the way up to the head then I can trap that in at my end once I've done that I'm going to just try and get a turn in front my wire ribs caught up there like so and then I can remove that now Next then, I'm going to get a few turns in at the head here and the reason for that is I'm going to use the rotary function on my vise to follow my red rib up the body. And you can just see well, I hope you can just see the little bits of red sticking out. Now, you can still catch fish in the winter or the, the late autumn, should I say, with buzzer. Um, you might have to be a wee bit patient and you might have to go a lot smaller than this, but um, they are still there to be caught. So I've just removed that little bit of uh, mirror tinsel there and what I'm going to do is come in with my rib. Now try and keep your ribbon spacing fairly even. I mean, this is really for a fly time perspective. I don't think personally that the trout really care how good or how accurate your spacing is, but from an angler's perspective, you always like to have uh, nice neat flies on your cast, or I certainly do. So I'll catch that in at the end. 
Now for the more discerning viewers amongst you, you'll be thinking that there's lots of possibilities with this fly uh, as a cormorant also and uh, it would be at this stage if you were of a mind is to add a black marabou wing and you've got a very effective mini lure. But uh, we're doing a buzzer today so we'll leave the marabou in the box. Coming with your whip finish tool. And just a three turn whip finish, like so. Now you'll notice that the thorax isn't particularly big. And on the one I showed you, this one here, uh, I've worked the thorax with UV resin. But uh, on this occasion, I'm going to just give it one coat. Keep the fly nice and skinny. Try and get your uh, UV resin nice and even. I'm using quite a, a thin material here. Uh, sorry, a, a thin resin. So it tends to move about the fly quite a lot. So just keep it nice and thin. And then you can come in with your UV torch. And cure that off. Now it's up to you how much work you want to do with this. Uh, you could add layer upon layer of resin. If you don't have UV resin, um, Sally Hansen varnish or any sort of fly tying varnish will finish this fly off nicely for you. Now I actually prefer this pattern in particular I prefer to be really thin. The, the one I showed you originally um, I've probably overcooked it to be honest. I much prefer it thin like this. Uh, it's, it's easy to get carried away with resin. You can build and build and build uh, but this is much more effective in this form, I think. So there's there's a, an overworked, overcooked version, and there's the one I would like to fish. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.